to Education Talks and in today's video, I'm going to tell you all about the adaptive features of organisms found in each habitat. And if you haven't watched my two previous videos in which I told you all about the types of habitats and the organisms which live in those habitats, then please check those videos out. The link is present in the description box below. And before continuing the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Education Talks. Forests. Leaves of tropical rainforest trees have specialized tips. Due to dense vegetation of rainforest, very little light is available to reach the forest floor. As all the vegetation uh, gives so much shade to the floor, uh, the light is not able to reach the floor as the leaves absorb it. Many animals either hibernate or migrate to warmer regions during winter as it's quite cold in winters in rainforest. Some animals gather food during summer and store it for eating during winter when food is scarce. Grassland plants usually have flexible stems that bend instead of breaking when the wind is strong. Just the way the aquatic plants adapt to the ocean currents. Plants have strong roots that prevent winds from approaching them. And they also avoid soil erosion. Most grassland animals are able to run very fast. This ability also protects them from grassland fires and from their predators. Many grassland animals have skin, have skin shades of brown that makes them hard to spot among the dry brown grass. And this technique is known as camouflaging, which helps them stay hidden from their predators or hunters. Deserts. The leaves are modified as spines to minimize water loss. The stem is green to make food for the plant. Desert animals have thick skin to prevent the loss of water from the body. Most of the desert animals have the capacity to store water and food, such as camels, which hold which store their food in their hump for middays. Mountains and polar regions. Mountain plants grow close to the ground to avoid being uprooted by strong winds. These plants also produce smaller leaves to prevent water loss such as pine or fir trees. Some mountain animals hibernate or migrate to warmer areas during colder months, such as bears, which hibernate, and Siberian cranes, which migrate. Small ears and tail minimize heat loss from the body. Aquatic habitats. These plants have long, narrow stems. This prevents the water from being carried away with the water current. Stems have air chambers that allow the aquatic plants to float in water lilies. Of plants such as lotus and water lily have a waxy coating that prevents them from rotting. Ducks have webbed feet that help them in swimming. Gills are special organs that help fish to breathe underwater. 
so that's all for my today's video and the topic is finished and if you haven't watched my previous videos in which i told you all about types of habitats and organisms which live in types of habitats then you can check them out below as the link is given in the description box so do check that out and till my next video bye bye and don't forget to like share and subscribe to education talk